the people of Italy rise up. Roberto Speranza, the former Italian health minister, was being investigated by the public prosecutor's office in Rome after emails revealed that he knew the COVID vaccine was killing people. The allegations include covering up vaccine deaths and injuries to keep the vaccination program going during the pandemic. The side effects from the vax caused excess deaths and disabilities. However, a special Italian court called the Court of Ministers shut down the probe. Protests have occurred across Italy as vax-injured individuals and those who lost relatives to the COVID vaccine speak out publicly. Angry citizens vowed to pursue claims for civil damages against Speranza and former Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte. Speranza can no longer walk the streets by himself. He is permanently accompanied by police or security and a crowd shouting, Assassino! 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 Congratulations to the people of Italy. You are a shining light for freedom and being ungovernable of national and multinational organizations imposing their dictates on you. In Japan, over 20,000 people began a protest demonstration that will last two weeks. The people are demanding answers on crucial issues such as the stark increase in excess deaths and the lack of transparency on the adverse effects following COVID vaccinations. Speakers describe the links between pharmaceutical companies and the global health authorities like the WHO. Over 85% of the WHO funding is provided by pharma companies and the Bill Gates Foundation. The Great Awakening is unfolding across the globe. Do what you can to become more sovereign and less dependent upon services offered by governments and the multinational organizations.